Okay, today I want to tackle the question I get asked most often, and that is, how do I always seem to generate a pile-up when I go out? Now, first of all, let's dispel a couple of myths, okay? One suggestion I've heard is that because I own a YouTube channel, run a YouTube channel, I've got a lot of followers and that always generates a pile-up. Let's be realistic. I'm a small YouTube channel. At the time of filming this, I've got 750 subscribers. Um, that's not going to generate a pile up every time I go out. There are some YouTubers who may have 30, 40,000 subscribers plus who could generate a pile up just by going on there. Not me. I might get, if I'm lucky, I might get one, maybe two people who I might recognize as viewers or who might reference my videos during, a, uh, during an activation. So it's not my YouTube status at all. I, I'm not a YouTube star, I don't pretend to be. Um, the second myth, you quite often hear people say life's too short for QRP. I've live streamed two pileups so far and uh, both of which I was running 10 watts. So it's doable, it's just uh, you have to be smart about how you go about it. So how do we generate a pileup? Okay, so I just made the statement that you need to be a little bit smart about the way you operate. Now, what did I mean by that? Well. A lot of, I hear a lot of people just go out to their local park, um, they don't put any spots on their, any websites and they just keep tra calling CQ over and over and they call for like 20-30 minutes, might get r one response and then give up and get frustrated. Now if you put on a show the callers will come and what I mean by that is you need to look into what programs are popular in your area. Now here in the UK we've got uh, Summits on the Air, SOTA, we've got Worldwide Flora Fauna, they're the two big programs. You've also got uh, HEMA, Humps Excluding Maryland's Award, I think that stands for. Um, and there's a couple of others as well. There's POTA, Parks on the Air, which is big in uh, America and in Canada. Not so much here in, uh, in the UK and in Europe. Now, what you need to do is get on the uh, websites. All, all of these uh, awards programs have... Uh, a spotting um, system, um, a DX cluster if you like. So the best thing I can suggest is go on the DX cluster and just see how many people are spotting from those locations. Now just by looking at that I know that POTA you might get one activation, a couple of activations a week here in the UK if you're lucky. Whereas if you look on Worldwide Flora Fauna you can have five or six activations going on simultaneously throughout the day. So Worldwide Flora Fauna is more popular here in the UK and in Europe. SOTA's fairly big worldwide, that can generate a modest pile-up. Um, in the States I believe can, uh, Parks on the Air can generate some big pile -ups. So what I'm saying is find the program, uh, the awards program that's most popular in your area and activate. Now SOTA you cannot activate from the car, you have to uh, actually walk up the hill. Uh, there are some hills you can drive onto and operate away from the car but you can't operate in the car. Uh, Worldwide Flora Fauna you can operate in the car and I believe POTA you can as well. So if uh, you have um, difficulty climbing hills, you're not the energetic type, then you don't necessarily have to go climbing up a big uh, mountain. I've done Worldwide Flora Fauna from inside the car so it is doable. There are places you can park within national parks and um, operate. So that's one way. The other way, which is probably a lot more um, hassle, is you can do um, things like IOTA, Islands on the Air. Now there's, there's a lot of planning and organisation required in that to get to many of those places. Um, there's also uh, the option of a special event station, which again, there's uh, logistics and planning in that. So like I say, you need to find out what people are going to want to get in their logbooks. And um, like I say, put on a show and the callers will come. The second thing is the equipment that you have. So you can often get away with a compromise antenna, but you will always do better with a full size antenna. And that doesn't need to be big to carry. So let me show you, actually, just over here, I've got, this is a reel. This is what my antenna goes on to. I use a uh, 40 meter end fed half wave, also works on 20 meters. 
thinking about it, it would probably also work on 10 metres. I've not tried that. I don't know what the SWR is on 10 metres. That is my antenna combined with a mast and uh, I've got a 49 to 1 just behind me. It might just be out of camera shot. So let me get the camera off the tripod. I'll show you the equipment I'm using today. Okay, so let's have a look at my equipment then. Tucked away just in my bag here, I've got the ICOM 705 today. Uh, that's running on an external battery pack. I've got a small lithium battery pack just down here behind the bag. Um, iPad for logging. Feeder cable out of the ICOM up to this uh, branch here. That's a 49 to 1 transformer. And then uh, end fed half wave wire for 40 meters. Just tied off on the tree, goes up and this wire is going to disappear into the uh, into the branches so you can't see it but I've got my uh, seven meter spider beam mast here about halfway along I've just tied it off on this branch over here so that's all the antenna is it's an end fed half wave it's a full size antenna it's quite low to the ground but uh, that's okay because we're relying on uh, Envis pretty much today anyway so that should be fine Okay, so what have we discussed? We've uh, discussed um, putting on a show, so in other words, taking part in a uh, awards programme that's going to make people want to contact you, uh, whether that's IOTA, whether that's SOTA, whether that's Worldwide Flora Fauna, doesn't matter, just pick one that's uh, most popular in your area. Uh, we've covered equipment, uh, location will be pretty much down to whichever um, awards program you participate in so I've chosen Worldwide Flora Fauna. I'm at Langley Wood today now this is a reference that's recently been added to the program it's according to their website it's never been activated before so this should be a popular location that people want to get in their log books so I'm hoping for a bit of a pile up there. Um, the final thing to consider is your choice of bands now People often go for their preferred band, and if I was going to do that, that would be, for me, probably 20 metres. But uh, you need to pick whichever band is going to be most popular for your area. Now, I know from experience that if you go 40 metres with Worldwide Flora Fauna, here in the UK and around Europe, you are going to, you're pretty much guaranteed to generate a pile-up. Um, if you want... DX, then you can go up into the higher bands when they're open, up uh, 20, uh, 17 metres, uh, uh, 21 megahertz, uh, 15 metres. You can go up into those higher, would I call them exotic bands? I don't know. They're probably going to be better for DX, but you're going to get fewer contacts. Now, maybe that's what you're looking for, but my point is choose your band accordingly. If you want sheer volume of contacts, then you're probably looking at uh, 40 meters and maybe 20 meters. Okay, so final thing, find a uh, clear frequency and then put a spot up on the uh, website on the uh, DX cluster for the award program which you're uh, doing. So I'm doing Worldwide Flora Fauna. I found what I think is a clear frequency here. Here's the frequency in use please, M0GQC portable. And there's nothing heard, so I'm going to send the spot. And then I'm going to start calling CQ. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Mike Zero, Golf Quebec Charlie Portable. M0 GQC Portable, calling CQ, standing by for any calls. Uh, Italy Kilo 2, Charlie, Charlie 58. Uh, Roger, okay, Italy, Kilo 2, Echo, Charlie, Charlie, 58, Carlo. Roger, Roger, from Italy, Kilo 2, Echo, Charlie, Charlie, IK2ECC, IK2ECC, 73, my report for you, 557, 7344, good luck, good activity, bye-bye. Thank you very much for the 57, my friend, 7344, uh, QRZ. Charlie November. Uh, Golf 1, Oscar, Charlie November, 5 9, Dave. Hello, Jim. Nice to see you again. Happy New Year and all that. 
59 also. Thanks for being there. G10CM. Bye bye. Thank you very much for the 59 and uh, likewise a uh, very belated Happy New Year. 7344. Roger the 5 5, thank you very much. 7344 uh, QRZ. Golf 4, Mexico Delta Radio. Uh, Golf 4, Mike Delta Radio, thank you. Nice and loud there, 5 9. Yeah, you're also uh, night signal, some QSB, so you're there in between 5 and 8 uh, and 5 and 9 and a little bit more. So, uh, very good signal and uh, very nice to uh, work the activation. Wish you all the best um, and uh, hope to hear you again soon. From G4MDR. Roger, Roger, thank you very much, my friend. Yeah, only running 10 watts here, 10 watts from a uh, ICOM 705, so. Uh, Nothing too spectacular. N fed half wave inverted V. Uh, 7344. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, cheers. Good, really good signal for the 10 watts. Uh, so I uh, wish you all the best. Name is Alan, by the way. Alpha Lima, Alpha November. And uh, wish you all the best. 73 is 44. Right, so there's probably a little bit of irony in this because. Uh, the day I decide to make a video on how to generate a pileup, I've not actually generated much of a pileup. So perhaps the take home from this is uh, you should choose your time of day a bit more carefully. Now, I've chosen to do this. We're a Wednesday afternoon at about midday. So you've probably got a lot of people who are at work or having lunch. So this probably isn't the best day or best time of day to do this. Um, I've been on there around about 20 minutes and I've made 24 contacts so I suppose 24 contacts in 20 minutes isn't too bad now I need 44 contacts to qualify this as a worldwide flora fauna reference so I need another 20 contacts I think what I'm going to do is the antenna is also resonant on 20 meters so I think I'm going to give it a go on 20 and see what happens so let's uh, turn the radio over onto 20 and give that a go Oscar Mexico 5, Delta Papa 5-9. Yeah, the okay, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, this is Oscar Mexico 5, Delta Papa. Very good afternoon. Your report also 5973. Good luck. Thank you very much, my friend. 7344 QRZ. Italia Kilo 4, India, Delta, Florida. Uh, Italy Kilo 4, Indale, uh, Italy Delta, Florida 5-9. Gracias, thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Gracias, 73 uh, QRZ. Watch Delta 1, Charlie Tango. Uh, Kilo Delta 1, Charlie Tango. Uh, good afternoon, or oh, it'd be morning over there, won't it, Robert? 5-9. Thank you very much, Martin. 7357. 7344 will be safe, thank you. Thank you very much, Robert. 7344 uh, QRZ. Oscar Hotel 6, Golf Alpha Zulu. Uh, Oscar Hotel 6, Golf Alpha Zulu, 5-9. Hello, Tim, see what about 5 and uh, 3, 53 at the moment, 44, thanks for anyone. Roger, 7344, QRZ. Uh, Oscar Hotel 3, Golf Zulu, 5-9. Yes, sir, you're also fine at 9, but you're Work Tool Britain is Sierra Uniform 22. Sierra Uniform 22, over. Have a nice day, 73. Thank you very much, 7344, uh, QRZ. Uh, the Ocean, Kilo 1, Delta, Sugar, X-ray. The Ocean, the Ocean Station. Delta, Alpha. Ocean, Kilo 1, Delta, Sugar, X-ray. Uh, Ocean, Kilo 1, Delta, Sugar, X-ray. I think that was 5-9, uh, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. This is Ocean, Kilo 1, Delta, Sierra, X-ray. Good afternoon, 59 for you, Roger. Roger, Roger, got you that time. 5-9 both ways. Thank you very much for the contact. 7-3. 73 Sierra Papa 5, Papa Delta Alpha. November 10, go to Alpha. November 10, go to Alpha. Yeah, November Tango 2 Alpha 57, 57, 57. Over. Roger, 
Roger, Roger, Roger, Roger, copy the 53. Thank you for the contact. 7344. Well, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Good to get into the States. Uh, QRZ? Okay, quick roundup. How did I get on today? Well, let's be brutally honest. It wasn't quite the pile up that I was hoping for, but that's okay. You need a little bit of luck with this as well. It's not going to work every time. And I think the points I made at the beginning of the video still stand. Um, Today I made 57 contacts and I've been here an hour and a half. Now, I wasn't operating the full time, I did stop for lunch for half an hour, so I'm probably averaging around about one QSO per minute. I, I don't think we can honestly call that a pile-up, um, which is possibly a little bit ironic given that I'm going to call this video how to generate a pile-up. Uh, maybe I should have called it when YouTube videos go wrong, but anyway. Nonetheless, um, like I said, I think the uh, tips that I gave at the beginning of the video still stand and you just need a little bit of luck and I like to show the reality of amateur radio. It doesn't always go to plan. You get good days, you get bad days. Sometimes the conditions, the pro propagation just isn't there. So it is what it is. Um, at the end of the day, I've made 57 contacts I wouldn't otherwise have made and I've had a lovely morning out in the woods and had a nice peaceful lunch here. So all in all, I think we can call today a success.